Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you a very easy way to animate your logo using the Saber plugin in Adobe After Effects. This plugin is free and I've made other tutorials on it. So if you guys want to check a tutorial on how to do the same effect but with text, you can check the link in the description. But yeah, if you guys enjoy, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. First thing you want to do is download Saber and install it. It's very easy. Um, if you don't know how to install plugins, you can just search it up on Google. But yeah, uh, once you're in After Effects, you want to import your logo. I'm just going to scale mine down a little bit. So right here we have it. I'm just going to right click and pre-compose it. And you want to move all the attributes into this new composition. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to trace out the outside of the logo. This is going to tell the Saber plugin where to apply the effect. So if you have a logo that is like a circle and has text in the inside, this probably won't be a good video for you just because this only adds the effect to the outside of the logo. So mine works because the insides are transparent. So it's gonna apply the effect all over. What you could do is just overlay your logo on top of the final product. That might help out a little bit, uh, but yeah, let's just get into this. So once you're done pre-composing it and stuff like that, you want to click on your composition, press layer, auto trace and press OK. It's basically going to create a mask. Once you're done that, um, you just want to search up the Saber plugin. It should be under video copilot, drag it on, go to customize core, go to core type and select layer mask. And now it should be applied to that layer mask and you can change the presets here. If it's too bright, I'm going to show you how you can adjust it and how you can animate um, everything. So right here, you can see it's a little bit too bright. So what I typically do is just adjust the halo intensity and size. I'm going to put this on quarter quality so that playback speeds a little bit faster that way. So you can see what increasing the halo size does. It turns from a hard edge to a soft edge. You can also adjust like the start size. So it's less aggressive or the glow intensity and the spread as well. So you can see my logo here and it animates, it doesn't stay still. So um, you don't really have to do anything on your part. You just have to apply the right preset. So let's just say you have something like this. Very, very easy, right? I'm going to change the color to red. Going to just adjust some settings. So there we have it, right? Basically to animate it in, it's very, very easy. We just want to go to effects right here. Go to Saber, go to customize core and under end offset we just want to set a keyframe for where it currently is so that's like the end product the end result we just want to move that out towards like maybe five seconds so let's just say we want this animation to last five seconds and you just want to set the beginning keyframe to zero and basically what this will do is it'll animate it in that's why it's important that you have like a logo that has outlines it adds more to the animation as well. Logos like Netflix would do very well with something like this or Google, but like a logo that's inside a circle might not be so good because the outside of the circle is just going to be illuminated. And yeah, um, you guys can adjust with other stuff like glow settings, distortion, stuff like that. But this is uh, typically how I animate it. If you guys enjoy, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And with that being said, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>